Today's video is all about generating AI covers for your fiction books. Okay, one of the reasons why your book is going to get blocked on Amazon is your image used for your cover designs. Where you get your image for your cover designs matter a lot. Okay, don't just go on Google and say I can edit, I can edit. With the way Amazon is now, they can detect images gotten from Google even with editing. So the way to bypass this process is to engage AIs to generate images for you that are suitable for your book. And in today's example, I want to use a fiction book as a sample. All right, you can see my fiction book is ready. Okay, I have finished working on it, I have formatted it. All that is left for me is just to generate covers for it. All right, let me show you some examples of AI generated covers that I have done over the days, over the, over the days and weeks that has gone live on Amazon. All right, this book has been published and they are live on Amazon. So you can see this one now. This was generated with AI. So this is one of this is for the book you just saw now. So this is another one. This is another AI generated image for a fiction book. That is the that is the goal of this video. All right. So this is second and then this is the third. This is the third AI generated image for my fiction book. So if you are interested in learning how to create such images that you can use for your fiction book that will stand out Okay, then stay to the end of this video. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so you're notified whenever I drop more videos like this. So the first thing we want to do is to go to Pinterest. All right. So how this is how I do it. I go to Pinterest. Okay. So I search for images. So let's say for example, the book I'm working on is about a, a, a lady. Okay, an alpha lady. She's the emphasis. All right, so I'm going to go to Pinterest and then search for werewolf female alpha. All right, so I'm going to search for this on Pinterest. Okay, so they're going to bring me a lot of images with a lady and a werewolf, which is my target. All right, no, based on your book. So if your book is about a male lead, it will affect how you search on Pinterest, okay? The goal is just to generate the right image. So what you search for, I mean, if you just search for werewolf romance, you are going to see a lot, a lot of werewolf books, images that you can use, okay? There are a lot. But based on my book target, okay, I'm looking for a lady and a wolf, which is why I use what I use there. All right, so I love this particular image. So I've seen what I want. Let's say, for example, I love this particular image and I want to use it. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be our example. I'm going to download this into my laptop. Okay, I'm going to download it. I'm going to click on these three dots and then choose download image. Okay, mind you, this can work on phone. You can use your phone to do this step by step. Just follow me step by step. So after downloading the image, all right, so I'm going to head over to ChatGPT now. Okay, and then, like my custom will always be, all right, you want to make sure he's, he's feeling fine. So once it has responded, I'm going to now ask it, just follow the prompts, okay, you can pause the video, write out the prompt and use it, all right, but make sure you're liking the video, okay, make sure you like the video, I say thank you. All right, so I'm going to ask it. So you can pause this video and get this prompt. I just asked it now. So it has told me yes, I can share the image with it, and then it will do its best to produce the prompt that could have been used to create it. Okay, so I'm going to look for that image that I just downloaded. I'm going to upload it and then include some prompts again. Okay. So if you would like to get started writing the fiction niche, 
okay you want to go into the fiction niche then make sure you send me a dm okay on this video tell me you want to get started creating fiction books okay fiction books can make you your first one thousand dollars on amazon kdp with just less than 10 books all right i know what i'm talking about so after it has after you have uploaded the image you want to tell it the prompts should be well detailed it should contain the images it should contain the people All right, let me correct this detailed. So, take note of the prompt I'm using when prompting ChatGPT. Okay, I told you the prompt should be well detailed. It should contain the people in the images. Okay, the background, the style, the color, and any other minor detail that will ensure I get the exact same image all right so i want to get an image that's close to this as much as possible so with that i'll send it to it and then let's see the prompt is going to give to us all right so it has given me the key element and the prompt that was used to create this okay this particular image so what i'm going to do next is to copy this prompt okay i'm going to copy this prompt so the first ai website that i use to generate image is ideogram.ai so i'm going to paste that prompt okay then i want to break down all this i want to break down all this the woman is wearing blah 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 the background the scene these are the different aspects of this image the overall style what else what else what else what else what else that's good now as long as this idiogram is concerned what I click next is cinematic. So I want my image to look as, cinemat as cinematic as possible. I choose cinematic. All right. Then for my aspect ratio, all right. So magic prompt should be on. Aspect ratio, I use two by three as my aspect ratio. Two by three as my aspect ratio. All right. Visibility is public. And then you click on generate. Okay. So that's all the settings I just use on ideogram.ai. I don't use any other settings apart from what I just showed you now. So let's wait for it. They're asking us to wait for 32 seconds. So we'll come back after it has generated the, the, the image for us. All right, so it has generated the image for me. So this is the image. So let us compare it with the original and see which one is closer to it. Okay, so this is the original. All right, let's look at it very well. And then let's go back and see which of them is closer to it. All right, so if you ask me, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, this one seems more closer to this particular image that we just downloaded. So I, I didn't even include, I didn't include this other prompt from ChatGPT because it gave me more prompts. Okay, it gave me details of the lady, details of the background, details of the style, and all those things. So this is how I get my image when designing my fiction book cover this is how i get my image all right this is how i get my image i don't do any extra magic to it guys this is not the only website that can be used to generate free images for your fiction books okay there are other websites like meta.ai and even chatgpt4 but personally i prefer this based on my experience with it and then it gives me what i want so you can try other websites, other apps, 
okay and then see compare them and know which one you'll be sticking with let me know in the comment section which other free image generators you are going to try with this prompt you just learned just comment it below and then let's let others My try it video, out too i'm Thank going you. to be creating a video on how to use canva to design your fiction book cover so you have gotten how to get the prompt to generate your cover image using this using this website okay next thing i'm going to teach you is how to now go ahead take the image you have downloaded to canva all right and then how to construct a beautiful cover design for your amazon books this will enable your books to sell very well on amazon kdp so if you are interested and you want to see the next video make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on the bell notification so you are notified whenever i drop more videos like this all right so see you in my next video